Hey guys, this is Sinister Mystic, and I am going to be doing my first tutorial on, in Cinema 4D on how to use, kind of use, the spline effector to do a pretty cool effect. Here's what it looks like. Yeah. Cubes just come in, go on to the text that you want it to come on. Okay, so we're going to get started. Open up Cinema 4D. Create a spline text. There's your text. Right? Text object. See? I don't know if it was a spline. I just said spline because I thought it was a spline. Whatever. Right? Rotate it if you want. Do whatever you want to it. Name it. Yeah, that. All that sweet stuff. In the back, move it over, left and right. I'm just gonna call it sinister. Simple. There, no font, not special. Okay, and then you want to create a cube. Scale it down some, a lot. Right, move it over, and then you're gonna want to create a cylinder. That's gonna be used in in a second. But first, for the cube, you want to create a cloner object. And then you want to put the cube under the cloner object. And for the cloner object, you want to make it the mode object. And then, in this little object section right here, you're going to want to click the cylinder and then... No, sorry. You don't want to click the cylinder. You want to click on the cloner object, then drag the cylinder down into it so it says cylinder. And then for the cylinder, you can just option click the two small circles, not, not the check mark, the two small circles so it doesn't appear. And then for the cloner object, make the mode volume. So it's like that. And then, see how it's, the cubes are all over there and they're a little big? Yeah, you might want to scale the cubes down some more. Not the cylinder, sorry. Not the cubes. Just scale them down some. And then the count is how many cubes are on this little cylinder. So you can increase the count, and that's how many are going. That's how many cubes are going to go on your text. So 100 should be good for now. So we have that, and then you want to create a spline effector under MoGraph. Spline effector. Click on it. And where it says spline, you want to drag the text right there and change the mode. No, not the mode, sorry. Then you want to, then you want to change the segment mode to full spacing. And then you want to go to fall off and change the shape from infinite to linear. So it's like that. You want to move it over. Not yet. And then click on your cloner object, go to effectors and then drag the spline effector into the box. So it's like that. See? And then for the spline effector you can zoom out a little bit and then move it over. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry that took took a while. Zoned out because cylinder was in a weird place. So just like move the cylinder back a little, like behind the camera or something. And then you want to place a spline effector behind it. The box. So then when you move it, the cubes go into the text like that. And that's about it. You can keyframe the spline effector so it doesn't stay, like say, like it doesn't just it look like that. You can make it animate it by just changing like the Z, say keyframe that you want it right there, and then frame 46, you want it right there, and then frame 78, you want it right 
there, so it's all in there. So you just look at it, play it back. That's what it looks like. Render it, a little preview, that's what it looks like. I didn't do any lighting or anything, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but you want a material, just make a new material. Gloss and brown. And you just put it on the cube. Actually, put it on the cloner object so it goes on all of them. And that's about it. And if you want the text to change when it's on it, say it says that, and then you want it to go to something else, you just keyframe the text so that it says sinister there, and then uh, frame 72, you want it to change to something else, you just change it, and then you set a keyframe, and then it will change. Like that. See how the cubes are like going in each other, and they're like defying physics? If you don't want that, to get rid of that, all you'd have to do is go to MoGraph Tags, Rigid body and put the rigid body on the cloner object. Let's just delete this material because it's getting in my way. Click on the tag, go to follow animation position only. So that like keeps them where they are. And then they're all like bunched together. Let's keep it um let's just get rid of the switch of the text so you can see it longer. See, so they're like all over the place, kind of bouncy, hitting against each other. And then you probably want to reduce the size because you can't really read the name. And just play through it again. And there you go. That's all it is. This has been Sinister Mystic with a tutorial. Commented, tell me how I did. This is my first tutorial. Don't be mean. Or don't be a douchebag. Come on. Seriously. Like it if you liked it, thumbs up, rate it. Yeah, and thanks.